Hey y'all, it's Nana with livingcooper.com. I have a Nana so crafty for you. I stepped out of my comfort zone and I did an exact project. I was promised it was quick and simple and it was. Once the fabric's all cut, it took about 30 minutes from start to finish. I took a 30 inch square and a 40 inch square of flannel. You can use any kind of fabric you want. And I made this perfectly mitered corner receiving blanket for a baby. Super simple, all straight stitches, no fuss really. Keep watching, see how I did it. Take your fabric marker and your 30 inch piece of flannel and mark the center on all four sides. I marked both sides of the fabric. Then take your 40 inch square piece of fabric and your fabric marker and mark on all four sides in the center. It's time to start pinning. Put your large piece of fabric print side up on your table. Take your small piece of fabric, put print side down. Your fabric is now right sides together. Take your pins and start on one side of your small blanket and match the center marks that you made. Pin from the center to the corner and then go to your next side. You want to pin all four pieces from the center to the corner of the smaller piece, you'll have a leftover flap, kind of like dog ears, because the larger piece is obviously longer. Oh man, I almost forgot. I need to take my quilting square and mark each of the four corners of the smaller piece of fabric on both sides of each corner, one quarter inch because once I start sewing, I sew from the center pin to within a quarter inch of the end of the smaller piece of fabric. When you're pinning, don't forget to pin one small area, three to four inches wide to use as your opening to flip the blanket right side out after you've stitched the sides. Time to start sewing. Always remember, go from the center mark to the quarter inch mark on each side with a quarter inch seam allowance. Do your side, sew to the corner, rotate it to the next mark, sew to the corner on four sides, then flip it over and sew from the center mark to your quarter inch corner mark four times and then you're done. See here where I flip it over and sew from the large piece center mark to the corner quarter inch mark. Do that for all four sides. Now let's work on the mitered corners. The first step in making your mitered corners is to lay your blanket on the table and fold it in half diagonally. The second step is to line up the marks you made on the corner. It's very important that your dog ear is, is folded as close to a perfect point as possible and pin it along the edge. The third step to your mitered corner is taking your quilting square and aligning it on the fold of your dog ear. And the adjacent edge goes across where your two seams meet. Mark along the edge of the quilting square with your marker. Repeat that process for all four corners. That was the hardest part for me. We're past that now, finally. Take your blanket back to the sewing machine 
and sew a straight stitch right down each of those four blue lines. At this point, it's a good idea to peek at each of your corners by pulling them through the opening you left to make sure that you're happy with the miter on your corners. And if you're not happy, quickly rip the stitch and sew it again. Okay, I'm happy with my mitered corners. So I'm going back to the work table. I'm going to get my scissors. I'm going to trim along the line that we just sewed over and get rid of that fabric. From there, we will flip the blanket right side out. Once you get the blanket flipped out, you need to flatten it out on your work surface. Make sure you've pushed each corner through and run a quick iron over it to crease the edges. Now that your edges are creased, pin your opening shut. Now for the fun part. I did a decorative stitch where the two fabrics meet as well as on each corner on the miter just for a little fun decoration. So top stitch along the seam where your two fabrics meet all the way around. While you're doing this, it will also catch the opening from where you have not sewn it, where you were able to flip your blanket right side out. And then your perfect, easy mitered, cornered blanket is all done. All done. Check out the fancy stitching that I did with my new machine. All my mitered corners and my top stitched edges. It's gonna make a perfect, no fuss, receiving baby blanket for a special little girl. There was a bonus in trimming down the 30 inch square piece of fabric. I was able to make two cute little coordinating burp cloths. I couldn't plan that if I tried. If you find that you have scraps left over, use them to make baby burp cloths. Go check out that video. It makes an awesome coordinating gift. Isn't that quick and easy and fun? It's pretty simple. About 30, 35 minutes start to finish once you have your fabric squared up. Um, I did decorative stitches just because it was fun. You can do a straight stitch, whatever makes you happy. I appreciate y'all watching. Please leave me some comments, some constructive criticism, some constructive criticism, and maybe even some ideas of other projects that I can try. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when we upload a new video. Check us out on social media, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram at Living Cooper is our handle, as well as our blog, livingcooper.com. Keep watching.